wow okay i really like that ski it's funny how people are telling me that they feel the core stiff sometimes and i don't feel it stiff at all it's just in a perfect way so when you uh it's not stiff it's when when you when you're on flat you can edge the ski and it doesn't vibrate very oftenly i see a lot of people that are riding wide skis and you see the skis are going like that that's vibration that i understand core doesn't do that at all crazy i love it it's great ski for sure for somebody for somebody who ski bumps as a normal person i would say whoa there's a lot of snow here <laughs> uh core 87 is a great ski to kind of float over the bumps you know if you want to feel uh if you want to ski the bumps like uh michael kingsbury for example you need narrow ski because you really need to go into the deepness of the bump so you get the absorption and you travel up and down you know and that's the way you keep your skiing your ski in control but for a normal person who just pl love to play in the bumps having a, a wider ski it feels like being on a suv in a gravel gravel road you know it's like it's comfortable you you go over that easily you hit some some holes and you don't feel anything that's the way we like those skis so core 87 i really like that ski the wideness the 87 is for the wideness of the ski so uh, i would say that the uh the uh the, the 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 engagement of the ski you know it's 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 quicker it's probably the quickest in the core line um so so for somebody who wants like a, a, a all around ski and having one ski in their closet that's the ski they should kind of buy you know if they want to go everywhere on the mountain um if you're able to have two pair of skis i would go definitely with a little even even wider i would go probably like a 91 or a 99 uh, 93 i would say the men 93 and the 99 one of those two and having like a, a super shape for when it's groomed you know so you have two pair of skis but for somebody who wants one pair that one is really nice um, as you can see there's a little bit of rocker on the back side it's not really a rocker i would say it's just like a you know like the, the tail is rising but it's you know like usually a rocker is is further down so it it has a little bit of a of a inspection i don't know how you call it in english but like a you know like a, a raise up it raise a little bit so um so when you ski the bumps when you're going down the bumps it's kind of easy to to it's easier is your way out of the bump <laughs> so um yeah i really uh, really i'm impressed about that ski actually um <clears throat> for sure in quebec we're skiing on groom ski and it's very oftenly hard packed snow almost icy so i would suggest people to go either in the in the super shape and if they can't afford like having a, a ski with metal in it you can go with the V shapes with our lighter and uh, there's a carbon fiber instead of metal in there so 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 it's a good all-around ski also it's just depending on if the core skis are made for people on on top of the 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 mountain and slalom ski for the one at the bottom because it's icy and it's powder on top but somewhere in the middle you like you got the core 87 or the v10 which is the 85 underfoot so those skis are kind of uh, shadowing each other